Hello, I'm Andrew Lissing. We're back in this war of mine. Playing as a good Samaritan. We brought back a load of stuff. Let's get moving. Um, Pav, you're tired? Go sleep. Um, Anton, you're slightly sick and recovering. Well, I guess you could be slightly sick and recovering, but... I guess someone needs to sleep. Maybe we should make a second bed immediately. Um... With four people, I probably am gonna have to. I dislike it. It's a waste, but... I know people keep telling me, oh, you should make the second bed immediately. It's like, no, not with three people. But with four people, and especially one of them sick, I kind of think we have to. I really do dislike doing it. It's kind of a bit of a waste. Uh, I'd like to be able to keep the resources for a little bit later, but we'll do it. So, Sevza can make that. Anton, you're just going to have to stand around. Just, just stand around for a bit. It's fine. You don't mind, do you? Um, ooh. Moonshine. Yes, get the moonshine going immediately. We have the stuff from last night. We got a load of sugar, so place the moonshine still here. There we go. Now, I'm kind of thinking we want to go for the upgrades sooner rather than later, so we get the upgrades to the benches and we can start building stuff like rat traps and so on to be able to become food self-sufficient. I wonder if you can eat people if they die. Like, if one person starves to death first, then, you know, everyone else cannot eat their corpse. I don't think you can. It would be a thing, though. Although, bloody rare. I think the last the last time I know of it being, like, definitely happening was uh, an aircraft crashed on top of, like, a glacier or something. Okay, so you hope we'll be warm. Well, I hope we will, too. That's that's pretty much the only, uh, the only solution I have to that one. Oh, you require fuel. Okay, we're going to make some fuel, then. So, Anton. Um, go here. Sev third, you can just stay tired. I don't care. I really don't care about you, Sev third. I'm sorry. You're good with children. So what you're good with. Or you're good for. Run faster. Run faster. Run faster. Okay, so we can probably make four. So I'm thinking we need four fuel. One, two, three, four. And then we can make ourselves some moonshine. Have that ready for tomorrow. Because I'm thinking that, you know, it's random when the actual trader will show up. But I'm kind of thinking that, you know, he didn't come today. So it's either tomorrow or the day after. So having it ready for tomorrow is probably a good idea. I know I said, oh, it's completely random, but it's either tomorrow or the day after. Um, I think there's like a weighted distribution so that he sort of will likely appear at a certain point, but not necessarily. Sort of like a bell curve or something. Um, yes, we will make four. You can make me a hatchet. Oh yeah, we need to upgrade the bench first. Which we don't have the stuff for. We need a part. Okay, well, we need components and wood as well, and I know I used them for the bed, but we didn't have a part, so we were never going to be able to upgrade that. I could build myself a knife. Building as a knife would be, you know, useful. But I'm going to hold out for the hatchet. The hatchet's got more uses. Hmm. Not do now. Ah, well, there we go. Zata, you slept poorly. Okay, so Sevter can sleep as well. Have you're hungry. Good for you. You're not eating anything. We don't have anything to eat, to be, you know, completely honest with you. Um, you're going to have to kind of just, you know, eat Anton. He doesn't know what's going to happen. No, don't eat Anton. Anton's actually better than Sevtia. Eat Sveta. Shut up. Stop being hungry. I think we're good to go to the next day. I don't think we have any anything to do, really. I'd like to have something to do. Let's just check if we can build anything over here. Zlata, go check. I don't think there is anything we can build. And yes, I know the names are incredibly wrong. Um, hmm. Probably should build one of these. We can always do it tomorrow. And it would, it would basically stop us from building, like, the upgraded metal workbench to build the hatchet. So I'm gonna not build that for the moment. I'm gonna rely on being able to actually get some water. Let's end the day. Okay, so... We can go to the supermarket. An early go to the supermarket not bad. We do need food. Hmm. Shell school. Eh. We can just go back to the abandoned cottage day two. I think we go back to the abandoned cottage day two. Go to the supermarket some other time. So, uh, yeah, let's take Pav as per usual. Pav goes. You slept poorly. You're hungry. You're sick. So you're on guard again. There we go. Yep. Seems good to me. Prepare. We don't need to take anything because we already have all the things. So let us go. We've already opened all of the uh, the doors, the 
cabinets all to be opened. I like being able to just do that day one. It gives me so much ability just to ignore all the, you know... Oh, I've got to min-max my character to carry everything. Oh, we'll just grab all for now. That's got the part that we need. So with that, we're able to make the metal work upgrade, which should allow us to build the hatchet. Unless we need food. We do desperately need food. Uh, I'm probably going to put the gunpowder back in the fridge. That's where I keep my gunpowder. I don't know about you. Next to the condiments, right? I don't know. Why, you, why would you keep condiments in the fridge? Um, I guess you can for some. Hmm. Question. Where do you keep your condiments? Discuss in the con... Don't. Don't discuss that in the comments. That's such an awful shout out when people are like, Oh, discuss so and so. Completely off topic banal thing. Yeah, just don't. <laughs> I could take um, cigarettes. I don't really want to. Again, moonshine. Probably should take it instead of one unit of food. It's probably worth more to trade than, uh, you know, an extra stack of components. And we're expecting a trade of sometime soon. I think we're actually done. Let's check the backpack again. I've got a herb. I could get rid of the herb. Unless I find more herbs, I'll get rid of that. Probably better to take the herbal medicine. Just trade the herbal medicine away. No, no, no. We'll take uh, an extra stack of components, just in case. And we can always leave the herbal medicine that's here, just in case we need it for our characters. If not, we can always trade it, I guess. But we're going to have five moonshine and a jewelry to trade, so... I think we're fine. I don't think we're going to have any major issues with uh, getting a lot off the cellar. Okay, day three. Nothing spontaneously bad has happened. Okay, I'm pleased about that. I know you can have things like outbreak of crime happening like day six or whatever, which is crazy. Hello, look at all this stuff. Wish I could be doing so much every night. And nothing bad happened. Awesome. I'm happy about that. Pav, go sleepy buys. Oh, we need to build a stove, don't we? Bloody hell. Zata, the army is trying to break the rebels' morale with this insistent bombardment. But civilians like us that suffer the most. When you've been under fire for so long, you learn to predict where a mortar shell will fall by the sound it makes. I never thought about it, but one fateful day changed everything. Um, She's got a backstory. Mentions her little brother today. I hope it wasn't her brother who died from like a mortar shell or something. That's a little bit, that's a little bit grim. Um, yeah, let's, let's just distract ourselves with some nice home cooking. Ugh. Actually, people can survive hungry for a little bit longer. Build the hatchet first. Hatchet allows us to break stuff down. Gets a load more wood. Best option by far. If someone dies, we can just eat their corpse. Which you can't do in this game. Don't worry, I'm not going to eat people's corpses. We're being paragons. We bury them anyway. Like a full like Viking burial thing. Funeral. That said, Viking uh, funerals where they actually light longboats on fire and burn corpses weren't actually that common. A complete misconception. Happened very, very rarely. Because, you know... That's kind of a lot of longboats you'd be burning. Um, hatchet. Yes, it's going to use nearly all our wood, but it'll get some wood back. So I'm perfectly happy with doing that one. Let's move Sefta up to here. So that we can start breaking down things immediately. Is Anton still recovering? Ugh. He's so old and takes ages to like heal and stuff. Come on. I want my hatchet. I want my hatchet. Give me my hatchet. Oh, there we go. We've got the hatchet. So, Zata, we can go down whoop, here. We'll open that with a hatchet. I say open with a, ha a, ha with a hatchet. We're going to be breaking it apart into bits. Okay, so you can start hatcheting that. Zata. Look through the detritus. Yep, eight wood fuel. Good haul. Oh, here we go. The trade. I told you that. I told you there'd be a trade of the day. Uh, yeah, we'll grab all that as well. So yeah, let's go grab the moonshine. Moonshine, moonshine. This is a moonshine-based economy. You don't pay for shots. Shots pay for everything else. So let's grab that and answer the door. We're in a pretty good position this early on because we've got all the moonshine. And we also did bring back one last night and we got uh, a unit of jewelry already. So we've got a lot of stuff to trade. I'm tempted by food. We could probably get by without food. To be uh, completely honest with you. Um, what else do we need? Hmm. What do we want of him? Well, parts are often hard to get. Okay, how much can we get? Okay, four parts. They're just four parts. Really? Have you seen my awesome jewelry? You haven't seen my jewelry. 
It's awesome. Fine. I need it more than uh, I need the jewelry. To be fair, it's annoying because I just have I have no choice. This is a this is an economy where he is in charge. He takes a complete rip off deals, but uh, okay. So that seems like a good idea. What else can we get? I would like some more sugar off him. Sugar is used to make more moonshine. So basically, uh, the moonshine cycle perpetuates itself. See, that's enough to make um, one and a half moonshine. It doesn't include the water, though. Uh, water is basically components, because that's what you need to make the filters. Let's put another moonshine in. And since he's taking that as a deal, let's add ourselves... I can't add a part. Can we add wood? No, okay. Well, we'll take that deal anyway. I don't think there's anything else we want of him. Like, you know, medicine's all well and good. We'll eventually find our way to get some more medicine. And then for our last one... Where are you? There you are. We'll want wood. Okay, so we can't get quite that much. We can get that much, though. Yeah. Deal. Now, the question is, do we trade something extremely valuable, like bandages? Hmm. I'm kind of thinking no, in case we get you know attacked early on. Bandages are kind of be the thing we need. Uh, like, he's got eight wood left, and eight wood isn't much. I don't really want to get rid of books. I like having a book collection. Maybe our paragons were like librarians early on. Li 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 librarians. Wow, that is suddenly hard to say. I don't know why. Um, herbs, very common. Not interested. Yeah, okay. They're magic herbs, if that helps. No? No? Okay. Um, yeah, I think we're done here. I mean, like, I could get the filter off him, but... At the end of the day, I think we're done. Bam. Now, we need to get a stove, and we also need to get a water filter thingy. Uh, what's it called? Ooh. Uh, ooh, um... Can I get that and the water... Oh, yeah. Quite easily, actually. Although we're nearly out of parts again. God damn it. Okay, place that. And Sevdia, look through that pile. And then we're gonna get you to sleep. Only free wood. Okay. Stop blinking at me, Sevdia! She scares me. So everyone's basically rested. Smash that apart. Go on, Pav. Put you back into it. I know you're a footballer, which makes it means that you're long and gangly and basically have, you know... The main muscle that you have is what? Like, the, the falling over muscle so that you can claim a red card. But, you know, do your best. Now, oh, so many people are going to complain about that. Oh, well, I don't mind. That's what I do best. Um, I don't think we have any filters. Yeah, we don't. So we're going to make some. Let's let Pav again. No, we're not lucky it's not cold here. You say that, it's suddenly going to be cold and we're all going to die. And I'm going to need... Well, I'm not going to die. I'm going to need to build something that's really annoying to build. Like a thermo generator thingy. It's called a furnace, I know. But still, you get the point. Furnaces are incredibly annoying because they just consistently take your uh, your supplies to actually you know, keep them going. And not only that, but... Um, they don't really keep the place that warm unless you get two of them. Or you keep one like fully stocked all the time and even then you'll dip below the acceptable temperature. Maybe it's just because, you know, winters vary in how bad they are, but it's still incredibly annoying to uh, have to deal with. Okay, Pav, go put the filter in. I, like, imagine that Pav runs to the bottom of the ladder. Zatia chucks the filter at him. He grabs it and runs up the ladder. Yeah, make me that. Hmm, I think we probably should build the stove. We don't need to necessarily build it right now. We're not suffering, like, terribly at the moment. We could do. Yeah, we're not going to be building anything there anytime soon. Yeah, we need to build a stove anyway very soon. So might as well build it now. There's no point in just waiting till the end of tomorrow. Alright, so if Zata can build that, we might even have time to actually uh, pop ourselves a delicious, um, I was about to say, beverage. Uh, just because I've got a cup of tea in front of me that's obviously taking my attention away. No, um, we're going to build ourselves a, uh, a tasty meal. Some sort of soup involving vegetables and um, miscellaneous meat. Mmm, miscellaneous meat. Mm, nom, 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 nom. Uh, I kind of want to put some boards up over the walls, but we'll have to do this some other time. Zatia, what would upgrading take? 
more stuff than we have by quite a large margin. We need parts and components for that. Can we build this? No bit of the water. Oh, wow. Yeah, Bruno is too good. I miss Bruno. Bruno was like four water, not six or something. I can't remember, but wow, Bruno was so much... Yeah, we're not even be able to make this tomorrow without a second batch of water being done. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's going to be tough. That's a little bit intimidating. Sevtia loves children hungry. Mmm, children. They're so tender. Let's end the day. It's a great note to end the day on. Um, We could go back to the abandoned cottage. I think I might try our hand at the supermarket. Because I want water. Because if we can get water, we can actually eat tomorrow rather than having to wait until, you know, we get another filter through. Um, the supermarket also has probably some stuff that we need. Components would be nice. Early supermarket, though. I'm digging an early supermarket. So, let's go scavenge with Pav. Anton. Slatter. And Sev's convenient guard. I'm guessing we're going to be attacked tonight. Hmm. Might be worth rotating two people onto guard. So rotate two people on guard since we haven't been attacked yet. And we'll go to the supermarket. Prepare. Of course, going to take my uh, trusty crowbar. Nothing else will do. Yeah, that's it. Now we're leaving the hatchet at home. That means that there is a weapon at home. So at least some... Okay, so it's the group of people who are like, Yeah, sure, there's enough for all of us. That's good. I was hoping, I was uh, fearing it could be the other one. Hello. Don't mess with me. Not gonna. Hey, you. Uh-oh. Hi. Should be enough for both of us, don't worry. Oh, God, I thought for a moment it was a different event. Where they just gun you down. That would be the worst event. Um, well, I'll grab all for the moment. We'll just keep going. Go downstairs, because I kind of think that's where the tasty stuff will be. I've got my eye on you. Yeah, can you please take it off me? I'm just ever so slightly perturbed by it. Uh, we don't need fertilizer just yet. We don't need that just yet. Let's keep going. And keep going. I'm kind of hoping there's something good at the end of here. A bed. Not what I was going for, but you know, maybe it'll do. That'll do. That is, that is good. I am happy with that. We'll take both that and the herbal medicine. We'll leave some of the stuff to come back here for later. Okay, so do you actually, uh, like, take stuff away? You don't want to cause trouble here. Trust me. I don't. You've got weapons. I don't. I, I have. I've got a crowbar. I'll be completely honest. You get three people with automatic weapons versus me with crowbar. I'm going to put my money on you. She's waiting for me to open it. Wow. Wow. Don't mess with me. I'm, I'm Okay, she's moving away now. Quick, we need to get in there. It's got all the good stuff. It's a lock. It's obviously got the good stuff. Herbal medicine. There we go. There's the good stuff. And moonshine and... Oh, seven bullets is good. I might take seven bullets just because they'll fit in a stack. And what else can we dump to take more? Um, Two components. We'll dump the two components. Let's go through here. Come on. She's vibrating? What? She looks like she's vibrating. No, 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 no. Mine. Thank you. Okay, so what do we get? Water. Sugar. Can't take the raw food um, because I have a full inventory. I'm okay with that. I would trade this for more parts if I found them. Possibly for something else like, you know, maybe components because I think we do need components as well. But... I mean, this is more of, sort of an exploratory mission. We kind of get our inventory full and then we'll uh, just hope that we can find some more stuff. What's in these oil drums? Hopefully not oil. But you know, that'll be okay. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. Um, can't get any of those in, although the food would be tasty. Well, okay, let's be completely honest. The food probably wouldn't be tasty. It'd be, it'd be borderline okay. It's not Bruno quality food. Let's put it that way. Um, I might take components just to be able to upgrade the cooker or something. I think we kind of probably need to at this stage. Hmm. Damn you, cooker. We've got lots of herbal medicine. Let's leave wood on herbal medicine and grab components to be able to upgrade the cooker. I don't know if that's what we need to upgrade the cooker. I can't remember if it was wood or that. 
Let's just hope it was uh, components. We did get a lot of wood from smashing stuff at home, so I'm hoping it's uh, components. Hello! Your friends already be down here. No need to go down there. There's no food at the end. Damn it, I don't think he fell for it. I'm taking weapon components because uh, it might be useful to make like a knife or something. Just, you know, to have the extra uh, defense ability. Hello! Bye! I think they're going for the food. Damn it. I wonder if they actually really do deplete the place of stuff. That'd be interesting. I hope they don't deplete the place of stuff, otherwise it's kind of like everyone's running around and they've probably got somewhat the wrong loadout. We can grab more water. I'm fine with grabbing more water. Can't grab any more parts. Let's grab that last component. Now, all we can do now is really top up our sugar and water supplies. Which is what I do in real life, pretty much. That's pretty much my lunch. Sugar and water supplies. Okay, what's in here? Something good? Can of food. That is really tempting, because it wouldn't use our water supply. It allows us to have someone to eat something. And I'm wondering what I could replace it. Weapon components. Now, I know I said our oh, weapon components would be useful to make a knife or something. We only have two. I'm not sure we could find three. So I'm kind of being a little bit more cautious on that one. Faded leaf with a skull and crossbones reads, Danger! Do not touch! Ex unexploded ammunition! Any weapons, ammunition, or any equipment left behind or unexploded may be booby-trapped. Do not touch anything. Do not risk severe injury or death. Report such finds to nearby army outpost. Um, or I could use the bullets myself. I probably, like, I'm sure we could rig up, like, uh, some sort of trip wire on a mine or any sort of, you know, unexploded artillery shell. Anton's good at maths. Okay, he's not actually good at engineering or anything. Yeah, okay, he sucks. Why, why are the people running that way? Are we being attacked? Okay, there's a weapon coming there. I could have made a knife or something. Why are the people running that way? Can't get another part. Okay, exit. They're leaving. Okay, they're, that, that's fine. They're being chased. Okay. I'm a bit worried now. I'm worried if there's like someone snuck in. I hope not. Come on, go through the door you literally just opened, you absolute derp face. Now another weapon component. But water! That's a full stack of water then. I don't think we're going to get any more. Unless we get really lucky with sugar here. I think we'll just call it and run to the exit. And wood. No. Okay. Run to the exit. Don't get shot. Don't get shot. Don't get shot. Pav is back. Yay! Day four! And we were attacked last night. I bet you. I, I would probably bet money on this. I'd like to be wrong, though. I brought those bandages now to see to that... W so someone was wounded and Pav knew about it psychically. We've been raided. Someone tried to rob us. There were just a couple of scavengers that didn't mean to do much harm. We had some weapons, but not enough for everyone. Zata was wounded, but the attackers didn't steal anything. We were able to defend ourselves. Pav was searching supplies and brought back some interesting things. Okay. So, we brought back bandages, which is good, because someone got wounded in an attack we didn't know about, yet we somehow knew about on the way. Maybe they shouted it down, like, as Pav was running around the corner. Ah, oh, we've been wounded. Okay, I brought the bandages. There we go. Maybe we just missed that part of the conversation. So, yeah, we're going to call it here for today. I've been uh, Enter Listen, and this episode's gone... Uh, it's gone okay. Apart from, you know, being attacked and wounded. We'll have to see how bad the wound is. Hopefully it's not bad enough to actually warrant bandages. But if it is, at least we've got them. So, if you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And stay shiny.